It's going to be a video on buffers. It's just kind of an intro to buffers. So it'll probably just be the first page of notes. I don't think we'll go anywhere past that for this part. So um, a buffer. A buffer is a solution that resists changes in pH. Okay, so if you add an acid or a base to a buffer, it doesn't go up or down too far. Okay, it has a good resistance to change in pH. So uh, you have buffers in your body. Your blood has a buffer in it. It keeps the pH of blood um, in, a, in a pretty narrow range. And the, the two substances in blood that make up the buffer system are H2CO3, which is, a carbo which is carbonic acid. So that's got a Ka value, remember? You know, only a small percent of these molecules dissociate. It is a weak acid. And HCO3 negative, bicarbonate ion, which would be a weak base. So buffers have a weak acid and their conjugate base in there. Weak acid, conjugate base. So the reason these can resist a change in the pH is if you get a base in the buffer, or in your blood in this case, the base will react with this to make more conjugate base. If you get a base in your blood, excuse me, an acid in your blood, it'll react with this to make more conjugate acid. So buffers, again, they resist changes in pH. You add acid base, then they resist change in pH. Um, there is a buffer capacity of maximum amount that it can absorb of H plus or H negative ions. So um, another good example would be, let's say we put, um, we have a solution of HF, which is a weak acid, in which conjugate base. So to add its conjugate base, okay, you can buy a solution of this. We need F negative ions. Well, to get F negative ions, we would add a salt with fluorine in it. So maybe like sodium fluoride or potassium fluoride that makes F negative ions. So now we have a weak acid and its conjugate base in solution together. So we put some of that in solution, some of that in solution. Um, again, this makes that. This in solution has sodium ions, which remember do not affect pH, and fluoride ions, which do affect pH. So we have some fluoride ions that with water So we've got weak acid, it's conjugate base, we're putting those in solution together. <clears throat> so here's just kind of generic. Weak acid, it's conjugate base. HA is the weak acid, A negative is conjugate base. So if we add some H plus ions to this buffer, and if we add some, say, some HCl to this buffer, which is H plus ions because it's a strong acid, those H plus ions will react with A negative. The H plus ions will react with A negative and make more of the conjugate acid. If we add a base to this solution, so say we add in some sodium hydroxide, so OH negative ions, OH negative ions will react with HA, OH negative ions will react with HA, the weak acid that's in there, to make water and the conjugate base. Okay, so the pH will change a little bit when you add those things, because when you add H plus, you're gonna get some more weak acid. Remember, this doesn't associate, dissociate very much. We add OH negative, reacts with the acid that was already in there, it makes more negative, so the pH will go up a little bit there, but not a whole lot, because this is a weak base. <clears throat> um, we also could have a weak base in its conjugate acid in solution. So we did that, I would add ammonia, NH3, and then to get NH4 plus ions in there, I might add like NH4, NO3, ammonium nitrate, which dissociates into ammonium ions, which is a weak acid, and NO3 negative, which does not affect pH. Okay, so again, if I add a strong acid to this, like HCl, we'll react with the base. If I add a strong base in here, like NaOH, the H negatives will react with the acid. <clears throat> so we don't get an overall lot of these things in there. <clears throat> so here's kind of some buffer problems, just a couple of them. So here... We're going to say we're making a buffer, um, a buffer of acetic acid. So here's our weak acid, and there's a molarity of it, 0.75 molar. So we have some of that in solution, and we add in some sodium acetate. So remember, sodium ions do not affect pH, but acetate ions are a weak base. So... 
But if we want to know just the pH of this solution, I would do the Kb of acetate equals x squared over 0.75. If I want to know just this by itself, I would do Ka of this equals x squared over 0.75 and find concentration H+. Plus. Remember, these both have pretty small dissociations. In this case, we we're mixing these two together. So now we have, we have a solution. We have a solution that has this. I'm going to draw a little, a little beaker. It's got 0.75 molar HC2H3O2, and it's got 0.75 molar sodium ions, which don't matter, and 0.75 molar C2H3O2 negative. So we have 0.75 molar of the weak acid, sorry, you can't see that because of the glare, and 0.75 molar of the base. Okay. I'm not gonna do an ice table here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, if we did, so here's our acid, which dissociates into that. If I wrote the Ka expression here, Ka would equal concentration H plus times concentration C2H3 O2 negative all over the concentration of So we have Ka equals H plus. This is our base, our weak base. There's our acid. We're going to rearrange this equation. For buffers, we'll always use, use one of two equations. So let's rearrange this. We have Ka equals concentration H plus times the base concentration all over the acid concentration. Okay, so if we rearrange this, if we cross multiply, put Ka times that, and solve for H plus, we would dissolve, we would divide by B. Um, we're gonna write an equation that says this. So we're rearranging this equation, I don't know if I need to show that for you, but if we cross multiplied, we'd have Ka times that equals this, divide by divide by B, sorry, I'm struggling there. Um, those would cancel, H plus equals Acid over base times Ka. So I'm going to rewrite that. Concentration of H plus equals the Ka value of the weak acid, which would be the Ka value of the weak acid, times the acid concentration over the base concentration. Now, these are both in the same solution. So this can be either moles or molarity. Moles or molarity. Since they're in the same volume of solution, we can convert it to moles, convert it to molarity. It can be either one of them. So for buffers, we will always use that, or another way we can rearrange it with OH negative. But our concentration H plus equals the K of the acid times the acid concentration over the base. Well, in this case, it's pretty easy. Okay, we have 0.75 molar weak acid, 0.75 molar same acetate. They're together in the same solution. So our concentration of H plus equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, which is our Ka value of our acid, Ka value of that, times the acid concentration is 0.75, and the base concentration is 0.75. Well, 0.75 divided by 0.75, again, acid concentration, our base is sodium acetate. So if those concentrations are equal, if we have equal weak acid, weak base mixed together, the concentration H plus equals the Ka, or the pH equals the pKa. So our concentration of H plus is going to equal the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Oh, sorry, our concentration of H plus is going to equal 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, sorry. Our pH is going to equal negative log of that. So the concentration H plus is the Ka value in this case. pH equals S. That's only when the acid and base are equal amounts. Uh, so our pH in this case, I think, is 4.74. So that buffer's got a pH of 4.74 to start with. Now, if we add some acid to that, our pH is going to go down just a little bit. If we add some base to it, our pH will go up a little bit. That'll be the next part. Uh, let's do one more example here. Um, this one. This one is 0.75 molar NH3, which you should know is a weak base, and there's its Kb value. 0.75 molar NH4Cl, remember Cl ions do not affect pH, ammonium ions are weak acids. This is the conjugate acid of this base. Notice 
they are the same polarity. Okay, so same thing as before, now we have, we can do KB equals this, since we have the KB value. Um, so we can do, oh, sorry, I'm turning it off. Push my own. Um, so we can do this. We can rearrange our KB expression and have this. Concentration ratio negative equals the KB of our weak base in solution times base over acid. So all we didn't know is either moles or molarity of this and the KB. Well, we know the KB. So our concentration of H negative equals 1.8 times 10 negative fifth times the base concentration, which is ammonia, ammonia over the acid concentration, which is, so this is NH3, this is NH4 plus. Now, if these were not equal, okay, if there was more base than acid, it was more weak base than weak acid. When we multiply this, we get a little bigger value here. So our pH be a little bit higher. Like the more OH negative ions. If there was more acid than base, that'd make this answer a little bit smaller. Our pH be a little bit lower. So in this case, those cancel. In this case, concentration OH negative equals 1.8 times 10 negative fifth molar. Negative log that will give us our pOH. So negative log that value, so our pOH is 4.74, pH would be 14 minus 4.74 is 9.26. Okay, so the pH of this buffer is higher. The reason is this base, okay, the Kb value of this is 10 to the negative fifth, so the Ka of that is weaker. So the base has a pH greater than 7. In this case, our Ka value was bigger than our Kb value of this conjugate, so the base the buffer was a little bit acidic. Uh, next video, we'll show what happens if we add some acid or base to these buffer systems.